<clears throat> hello, hello, hello. Welcome to our movie club. Today we continue to watch and discuss different movies. And today movie is a new one, not fresh one, but new one. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> <laughs> The Grey Man uh, 2022. So I prepared a few questions, and, but I think that's better to start with a characters list. Lower, could you please help us? But be loud, Mike is far away, please. Yeah, I see. Sierra Six, or Court Gendry, right? Mm -hmm. Court Gendry, hmm? uh, he's, he's, uh, he is a prisoner, but uh, he works for CIA uh, for Greyman. As, as, as a green one, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what is his nickname? Sierra Six. Sierra Six, yeah. Let me read. He's a skilled assassin and a master of disguise. What is disguise? Uh, to pretend to be it's kind of else. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a mask, right? So you can, I can be in disguise of, I don't know, a German guy, right? Or in disguise of a rich, uh, Chinese millionaire or something. <laughs> I can't think of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's the member of his, his former CIA. He's actually in a, a different group called Sierra, I guess. Yes. Sierra. <laughs> Remember the phonetic alphabet. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. S is Sierra. Mm -hmm. So Sierra means the letter S. So his code name is really S6. So when we speak it, we call it Sierra 6. Uh -huh. Gerard, is it uh, Sierra? Uh, Spanish, Spanish word, yes. What does it mean? Uh, some, a group of mountains. Yeah, Sierra Nevada, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sierra Nevada. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, group of mountains. Okay. Nice. Okay, Sierra 6. Uh, well, is his guy... What, how would you describe this guy? Is he like to talk a lot? Or... No. <laughs> no. He, he's not a speaker? <laughs> okay. He's like Putin. He never smiles. <laughs> <laughs> he never emotional, right? At all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what about this one? <laughs> I, I don't know how to do it. Lloyd, I guess. Lloyd, Lloyd Hampton. He's a psychopath, also CIA agent, but he was fired. Why? Uh, because he was um, he was. Psychopath. He was, I, I would describe him in two words, too much, right? <laughs> so too much of everything. Yeah. Would you like that something? Yeah, I think they purposefully avoid the Captain America look from him. You know? That's why they put a mustache on, uh, on him. <laughs> it, it looked weird, so weird, uh, but uh, I understood in this perspective. Yeah, so, so it seems that they are uh, similarly looking. It's kind of a feature of the movie, right? I mean, the Captain America. He used to be a, a <laughs> protagonist, but now he is an antagonist. So they wanted to make him a completely different person. Of course, type nice. of spice. Good, good. I see. Okay. In other words, the actor normally plays a good guy, but in this movie, he's playing a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why he needs mustache, right? <laughs> mustache, mustache. <laughs> So you don't see Captain America, yeah. <laughs> Sergey, do you understand? So if you want to be a good guy, just, you know, just shave your mustache and you will be better. Teacher Lee, do, uh, do you have any funny thing uh, in old movies, you know? We used to have a uh, disguising thing in movies. They just put a black dot on their cheek, you know? That's, they call it a disguise. No, we are, we it always use not? a fake mustache. Ah, okay, okay. In in, in our movie, in our movie industry, they used to do, put uh, such just a small dot on their cheek. That that's it. It, it oh. is called uh, this guy. <laughs> okay. Also funny thing. Um, 
some superheroes, you know, they're they're disguised as like they cover their eyes and, and nobody can recognize them if they cover their eyes. Like Superman, right? Clark Kent. His disguise was he wore glasses <laughs> and, and no one could recognize him as Superman because he had glasses on, you know, come <laughs> on. We do have we do have an American culture in the early days of television. Bad guys usually did have a lo- a big bushy mustache. <laughs> so that that was used in the old days to indicate evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. Sergey, please. Uh, yeah, I remember the uh, most bad guys was with the small mustache. <laughs> yeah, the Hitler mustache. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I cannot imagine that somebody will have such a mustache as Hitler had nowadays, right? It's just impossible. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have some crazy groups, and there are groups called neo Nazis that still believe in Hitler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Sergey, could you please uh, describe this character? Uh, uh not and uh, I I want uh, I want to uh, add some about this uh, the psycho uh, psycho guys. In my opinion, the uh, psycho guys uh, has to be more silent. Uh, this guy looks like a, a clown uh, with the jokes. Uh, he spoke uh, a lot. My opinion. Yeah, exactly. So yes, yeah, thank you for this uh, question. Right. So in our culture. Really, Sergey, I understand you. In our culture, you cannot be an evil if you speak a lot. So if you are a bad guy, you should speak, you know, once a year. <laughs> Say just <laughs> that. That's all. Because, because we don't we don't afraid uh, the guys with the, uh, who speaks a lot. We yeah. afraid the guys <laughs> with the silent guys. And I I knew a lot of examples, <laughs> and I meet some people. Uh, we have uh, some uh, jokes about it, and uh, uh, I don't know how, how to speak English. Uh, yeah, we yeah. speak that uh, in Silent Lake, uh, the most uh, violent shark or something like this. So, so we don't believe Layla if if the guy you know smiling and talk a lot, it's not a dangerous one, right? It's a it's a friend. <laughs> you know, in Turkish, almost the same. If you see a dog barking, don't be afraid of it. <laughs> yeah, we have an expression to be all bark and no yeah. bite. <laughs> <laughs> so a quiet man is all bite and no uh, bark. Uh, <laughs> Watch out for those. <laughs> yeah. Like a snake, you know, it hides in the grass and then... <laughs> uh, Sergey, yeah. yeah, and uh, I, uh, I think that I uh, understand why that guy uh, don't speak. So in Russia, I think maybe not uh, on Russia, uh, the mafia bosses uh, and the prison culture uh, share around the, uh, around uh, our country, and uh, the prison culture talk. You do you must check your words you uh, speak because uh, you have to backfire uh, after that. Every, every word, right? Every word can have uh, consequences, right? So be, yeah, sim- yeah. be silent, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, that's, that's why you have to uh, think in before then you speak. Yeah. yeah, watch your language, right? So watch your, what, what, do you, what do you speak? Okay. Yeah, so this guy is kind of a clone, right? Clown. So we, we don't, we, we are not afraid of his words. But what about his actions, Sergei? But what about the way he tortures, my dear? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember the other bad guy, uh, T- Tamilian guy, who looks better like a psy- uh, psycho guy without words and uh, who yeah. looks like uh, un- unusual. And I I was afraid of him. Okay, let's let's speak about the Tamilian guy a little bit later. But what about this lady, Sergey? Uh, Denny Miranda, Denny Miranda. But it's <laughs> uh, for me, it's uh, absolutely uh, gray uh, her character, uh, like in the other movie. And the lady, we have to put the lady. We uh, and I don't know uh, 
<clears throat> I remember that uh, he, uh, she uh, um, worried about his career in the CAAI, but <laughs> you, uh, you, after the Prague, uh, you uh, have to relax about your career. <laughs> Okay, so so you think that she is a bleak, right? Bleak character, so not very kind of uh, vivid. So just yeah. you know, okay. Uh, well, she saved him a few times, right? Uh, yeah, three or more times. Whoa, who is this old guy? Uh, Donald Fitzroy. Uh, he's uh, like uh, he was a boss, but he retired. <laughs> Retired wife, remember? She became what? Something negative happened. So John Carmine, or what is what his name, did something that Fitzroy ruined his career. Mm -hmm. Okay? And what, what else is important about him? Uh, he is smart and he, he is friends with Sierra Hicks. He created a program, right? Program Sierra. It was his, his idea to create uh, I don't know how, how to say it. Uh, it's a, it's a program, right, of um, to hire some criminals to do the, some service for, for CIA. So they're not a CIA itself. Right? Yeah, so his idea was the Sierra team were going to be people with no file, no history, no information, kind of like the men in black. They didn't exist. So they were the secret of the secret. Yep. So there was no information on any of the Sierra agents. No, you don't know their name, their picture, their fingerprints. Nothing was in writing where you could find out about them. That was his idea. I, I also think that what is important is that they have no applications to the law, right, at all, the Sierra program. So they are nobody, they have no jurisdiction, so they can do like agent bond right so <laughs> i can kill people when i like carte blanche yeah blank slate they can do whatever they want <laughs> okay so okay, uh, what about this tamir guy Indian yeah I, I like him so much because uh because he was silent he was very brave he was very professional and uh, <clears throat> i liked uh he solved the problem uh during during 15 minutes um, uh, versus uh, other army uh, made the ruin in Prague. <laughs> it's a, it's a fantastic guy. I like him. <laughs> and, and in my opinion, I, I don't remember uh, one hundred percent, but uh, the final in the movie it was a leaf. Mm -hmm. What what I liked about him? Do you remember when he heard that the bad guy? was about to kill a child. girl, right? A child. Mm -hmm. He said, wow, wow, wow. Guys, they have no honor. I don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Right? And it's it's strange, but in prisons, pris in prisons, we've got murderers, you know, psychopaths, scum. I mean, just some of the people are real animals. <laughs> And if someone like rapes a child, if they go to prison, they usually end up killed by the other prisoners because yeah. even, even murderers and scumbags hate people that attack children. Yes. Yeah. And especially they have children too. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's funny. Yeah. If you're a child molester and you go to prison, you may not live long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, so maybe I am I am an expert of prison prison culture in Russia. And <laughs> I don't know why, but I was I was interested in uh, this culture in Russia prison. Uh, we have the uh, structure and the uh, uh, category of prisoners, and the high category is uh, bosses, uh, and the middle category is. Uh, 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 helper of bosses, uh, the uh, next the category is uh, usual uh, people, and the low category is the guy who, he, who uh, has a uh, problem with the children. The, the low category, uh, uh, the low category, 
and uh, sometimes uh, the guy who prisoners killed them. Yeah. And, and okay. Sure what that... about um, if they rape a lady? Yes, the we, they they have the similar problem. Yeah. yeah. So we don't, kind of the, the bottom yeah. of the crime world. Yeah, our prisoners don't care if they rape women. They themselves probably rape women, so that's not a big deal. It's just oh, it's children. a big deal here, teacherly, you know. Because, because you have to, uh, according to the uh, prisoners' opinions, uh, you have to have a good opponent and uh, uh, a relevant opponent. The ladies and the children is not relevant opponent for you. The uh, policeman is a good opponent. It's a beautiful opponent for prisoners. Yeah, if you, yes, yes. If you kill the policeman, you are a good guy, right? So you go to the top of the crime. <laughs> if you if your opponent was small, let's say a <laughs> child or lady, so you go to the bottom of crime hierarchy. Yeah, it's true. But you know, Sergey, nothing is ideal, right? So some uh, some of our police they kind of blackmail you that we will. Uh, blame you in, say, let's say, in rape and put you in prison, and you will be dead, you know, in two days. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Uh, Vasans, so teach us how to distinguish Tamil guy from Indian guy. <laughs> is, there, is there a way? So it was said that this guy is Tamil guy. What, what, what should it say to us? What should we know? Nothing much different, but uh... it's just a language, a dialect, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, oh. Tamil's just a dialect. Yeah. Look, yeah. you cannot distinguish anybody. Okay. <laughs> In, Indians like beards and mustaches. Is that kind of a cultural thing? Yes, yes. They, they think that mustache is a pride, you know, a symbol of pride. Okay. Like that. Okay. <laughs> Sergey, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, and but I remember the funny fact uh, in the last week or uh, on the uh, week uh, after last, uh, our go our guy spokesman from uh, government told, now we have to stop to uh, speak and uh, learn English. We have to uh, learn Indian uh, language, and the uh, <laughs> linguist uh, answer uh, him. What's the in what's the Indian language? <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Day, day by day, our government, our Russian government, you know, going down. So they said, you know, well, the whole nation, the whole Russia, they don't need English anymore. You know, there's no purpose for this. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can't go outside the country, he's probably right. <laughs> And you don't need to understand the propaganda <laughs> from the U.S. Yeah, the Western lies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Leila, what about this lady? Do you remember her? Yeah, yeah, I don't like her. <laughs> Why? Tell us. I mean, she's too ambitious for me, you know. He, he, she knows that Danny Carmichael is not a good person. She knows what's behind this um and she is not a good person i think what 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 word we should use apprentice right she's apprentice to to a crime or what's the word she's word? more than an apprentice if you ask me because a accomplice. Sometimes, yeah. Accomplice. Yeah. Yeah, accomplice sometimes yeah. she gives some suggestions yeah, she knows yes, yes. she knows this guy is pure evil mm -hmm. but her job is to help him anyway so she's She's okay with that, kind of. I mean, she, she didn't like what he did, but she didn't try to stop him. She just let him do it. You know, well, you know, I think what you're doing is horrible, 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 but I'm going to stand back and let you do it because that's my job. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no, yeah, no conscience, I guess. <laughs> okay, speaking of the devil. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's the head of the CIA division. Uh, <laughs> um, and he's a bad guy. <laughs> okay, who's worse? He or psychopath guy? Psycho. Is bad is worse? Yes. Well, you know it's debatable. <laughs> well, he's directing the psychopath, so 
it kind of makes him worse just because he's given the orders. <laughs> right. Uh, and the last one is a need, right? Of, uh, oh, she's so yeah. sweet. Sergey, mm. please. I wanted to add about uh, <clears throat> uh, previous guy, and uh, uh, are you mem uh, do, do you remember in the end of the movie, the, uh, the lady <clears throat> explained about uh, his uh, team, and uh, this guy and lady and the uh, women psych psycho psychopath uh, were uh, graduate the uh, one university. Cambridge. Cambridge or something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cambridge and uh, I think that's uh, it's a uh, white uh, white uh, no Billy Varkinsky the top uh, manager white colors right white colors uh, as alumni of Cambridge and they created the program as a consultants uh, from uh, McKinsey and other company but uh, on the other hand we have uh, a different guy with the experience uh, with the our experience with the life experience and uh, they have to have collaborate uh, with these guys and uh, maybe they uh, would create the good structure now we had uh, the bad situation because the top manager without experience started to create new features and uh, next and next and uh, after mm -hmm. the problem they started to uh, want to kill uh, uh, the information about them Mm -hmm. So yeah, do you know the word nepotism? Uh, yes, but I uh, I I heard, but I, I forgot what is, what does yeah. it mean. Teacher, is nepotism only about my family, or it can be applied to friends? And you know, we we usually this usually applies to family only. Mm -hmm. Cronyism, well, cronyism is your friends. Okay, okay. So we can say that this guy is kind of a. <laughs> a victim of cronism, right, or, practice, or, this, or, <laughs> or practicing, right, cronism, because he hired two his friends from Cambridge to this program to work for CI, and I would say that the problem is they think they are very smart, they can, you know, rule the world. <laughs> no problem. Okay, and the last one, Whoa. who is this? Uh, yeah. It is um, Fitzroy Miss. Miss, okay. What should we know about her? She's Sierra Six friend. Sierra Six friend, why? Uh, because he was babysitting her. <laughs> babysitting her, right. Uh, well, it's important, you're right. It's, it's a part of the plot. And another part uh, the teacher mentioned in the chat that she had, do you remember? Pacemaker. Do you know what it is? So you do mm. know what is pacemaker? Mm -hmm. Pacemaker. Mm -hmm. Pacemaker. It's a, a guy who uh, run uh, and uh, who controls the uh, speed on the on the, on the <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> but, but there is another meaning, right? But for the heartbeat. Mm. Yeah, it's so a kind does. of battery, teacher Lee, right? Uh, yes, it's, it's an electronic device that regulates the heartbeat to be regular. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It paces so, the heartbeat. Yeah. So right. sometimes your brain, it's not accurate enough to make your heart beat in the right kind of pace. That's why doctors give you pacemaker, right? And it's kind of control your heart. Well, good. We know everyone. Sure that I remember all the names, but <laughs> at least mm -hmm. we have the list. Gerard, could you help us with the first one? First one, how did the movie start? Yeah. What was core Gentry's Ryan Gosling backstory? Mm -hmm. It's Sierra Six. Oh, okay. It's the beginning of the movie when they started, they wanted to kill this guy, Sierra Four. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. know, I don't know what happened. Okay, yeah, Sierra Six uh, was about to kill him from. Uh, um, be above, beneath, beneath a, a glass with mm -hmm. a, a rifle, but there was a child in the middle and he didn't ex execute him against the orders, but he went after the guy, the guy, the supposed mm -hmm. bad guy, and eventually killed him, but the guy gave him 
a chip and some information that something was not right mm -hmm. with the, those black ops. It's usually, can we say a uh, uh, line of fire or something? So when I don't, when I cannot shoot because somebody is He's in the uh, middle, is in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Collateral damage. He didn't want a child to be collateral damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. so he he was just told he was going to kill a bad guy. Yeah. So he continued the mission. He chased the bad guy, caught the bad guy, shot the bad guy, and then the bad guy says, "You know, I'm not really a bad guy. I'm I'm one of you. I'm Sierra Four. Hmm. They're trying to kill all the Sierra agents. Mm -hmm. You're just a dupe. You know. Here, this is why they're trying to kill me." And then he dies, you know. So, <laughs> so the the Sierra team seem like they're pretty good guys. Um, Sierra Four admitted that he was being targeted because he got greedy. He tried to blackmail the the car the Denny Carmichael guy, mm -hmm. and that caused the CIA to target him. And it kind of caused the CIA to hate all Sierra members because they couldn't control or even knew who the they were so they wanted to wipe out all the sierra members i think they really they hated the sierra team mm -hmm. so it's, but i think the question was i think sierra six though was surprised that sierra four knew who he was mm -hmm. because the sierra team aren't supposed to know each other apparently so it looks like kind of asymmetric right sierra six knew nothing about sierra four but Sierra 4 knew everything, right? So yeah. I was in <laughs> Tel Aviv as you. <laughs> and I was the same as you. So yeah, it was kind of interesting. <laughs> but yeah. that, there was something important that wasn't answered in the movie. Above Carmichael, there was an old guy who was the, the ruler, no, the main ruler. Mm -hmm. An old guy that is the ruler of this operation because Carmichael is not the one that is above all, all of them. But we didn't know in the movie who this guy was. Mm -hmm. Maybe probably a, yeah, probably a congressman. They're always a evil. Congress. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. First, uh, what was Number two, please. Number two. Okay. What does mean hey? Uh, hey in this movie means uh, kind the, of agent that uh, that go government doesn't know. Well, like he doesn't have documents or something. Mm -hmm. So he's not an official agent, right? He works in gray. So we have a kind of a white zone, right? When everything is legal, we have a black zone where when nothing is legal, right? And gray zone when something between, right? So we give you weapon, we give you support, we give you goals, targets. But if something goes wrong, we don't know you, yeah, right? You are on yourself. It, it can have several meanings. Another meaning is when we say something's in black and white, that means it's very clear. You mm -hmm. can see it. It's clear. You know what you're looking at. Gray, there are many shades of gray, light gray, medium gray, dark gray. When you see gray, it's hard to identify. So you can think of gray as being in a fog. Mm -hmm. When something's in a gray fog, you can't see it clearly. It's hidden. It's obscured. It's behind the scenes. Yeah, I, I also think that this question can be broader a little bit. So let's put it in this way. Can government use, you know, criminals for for their benefits, for, for own benefits. So can we, you know, so government is kind of white and legal, right? Can yeah. we send someone, you know, some hardened criminal to kill a bad guy or we cannot? I don't know if the CIA does that or not. They, they might, but I've never heard, never seen any news where the CIA and, and, or FBI had used criminals as agents. I've never <laughs> read that in the news. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of a philosophical question, right? Because there is no, the answer will depend on your moral, right? On your culture, actually. So yeah. 
Лейла Лосинг, is it a good thing or bad thing to have some kind of Sierra group? Bad. <laughs> I mean, I just can't think of the reason, you know. But yeah, reason is simple. Let, let, me, let me make an example for you. Let's say that the leader of some country got mad and started a war. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I could say bad people usually kill good people because <laughs> good people are wise. <laughs> yeah, but it's well, it's about uh, something different. So it's 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 not an answer, right? So should um, government use all the kind of approaches to 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 achieve the goal, or we, we must use only you know legal white ways? Can I write? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see. Don't compromise, Leila Ivan. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't. I mean. Oh, I will write. Okay. Well, uh, if you, there is there is something to mention, Yvonne. Remember that he had an interview. <laughs> Fitzgerald and Sierra Six had that interview mm -hmm. when he was in prison. Mm -hmm. And the guy <laughs> said, I know why you killed that person. Mm -hmm. So they knew that he was a killer, but he killed his dad to protect his brother from, from child abuse. Yes. So he was a killer, but he wasn't an evil psychopathic killer. He was yeah. a, a kind killer, if you will. So they were willing to use him as an agent because he wasn't an evil person in his head. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I understand this, but let's not forget about Lloyd Hansen, right? <laughs> 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 he was in uh, kind of Sierra as well, right? He worked for them as well. Yeah. Yeah, he 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 got greedy. He got he wanted to blackmail somebody. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, what do you think about this regard? So can government use kind of gray schemes, gray ways to achieve the result? I believe they do. Every government does that. Uh, apart from that, why do we need so many satellites around uh, the earth, you know? Every time they say something else, it is for agriculture, it is for technology, but no, they are spying each other. And so they does it all the time. No? They just, they do it. <laughs> well, as, as you, I, I also believe that all the governments do such things, you know, so, but as teacher Lee said, we don't listen often about this in, in, the, in the news, right? So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah, especially we blame Pakistan for having ISI, you know, it's their intelligence agency, it is for their protection, but we saw that as a, a spy agency, not a, a national, uh, well, for their national, for nation's protection, but we, we do also have a security agency, but Pakistan sees uh, us like uh, we are spying on them, we use that agency just for spying them, so every government has their own security agency, but they, does, uh, they, they do some illegally spying work yeah. all the time, <clears throat> even though they don't need to, but they, they, they do it. We have a, an expression, a black operation, which we normally shorten to black op. A black op is something that you're doing that is so illegal so shameful, so embarrassing that you don't want anybody in the government to know about it. You don't want Congress to know about it. You don't want the president to know about it. You don't want the, the head of the FBI to know about it. So a black op is something that's so secret. No one knows about it, but a small group of people because they would lose their jobs and all go to prison and everything else. So we do have black ops in the U.S. I know that much. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's go further. So I think we answered number three. So mission in Bangkok was to kill a traitor, as he was told, but in fact it was Sierra <clears throat> Four. So what happened? Uh, we answered it, right? He got a flashcard. Okay, let's go to number five. Leila, could you please answer number five? Sure. 
who was the uh, we talked about who Denny was. Um, he sent Court on a mission to kill himself. To kill you mean himself. to kill himself? What does it mean? I think it's a bad question. Just so we ignore this part. So let's let's answer the who was Danny Carmel and what was his mission. I think to kill his teammate, probably AI screwed up to kill his teammate. <laughs> okay, all right. So we talked about Danny. You know, yeah. after um, six killed four, Carmichael contact mm -hmm. six and try to understand if he had anything um, about that flashcard you said, I can say chip. Flash, flash drive, yeah. Right. Or, or chip, chip in this right. case, yeah. But um, he said no, and but um, then he didn't believe him, I think. Yeah, but why he said no? Well, why? Because he wanted to check what, um, what there is in it, and also I think he was a bit surprised that he killed um, four. He wasn't expecting, <clears throat> to, you know. He was confused, I guess. So he wanted to see what is hidden in the chip. Yeah, but it's dangerous, right? When you start to work against your boss and you uh, you are in such organization, I would say it's kind of a suicidal mission. Yes, yeah. Ivan, but it is also terrible that if you lose your confidence in your boss. Well, I agree, yeah. Now, Murphy's Law played into this movie a little bit, okay? The CIA wanted to kill Sierra Four. Mm-hmm. Because Sierra 4 had something damning against Denny Carmichael. So they wanted to kill him fast to get that chip back to protect himself, right? But he didn't have any CIA agents in the area to kill Sierra 4. So he was forced to use a Sierra agent from the Sierra team to go after the target. He hated Sierra. He didn't want to use Sierra, but he had no agent to kill Sierra 4. So they they borrowed Sierra 6 to go kill their target. Mm -hmm. And because that happened, Sierra 4 knew Sierra 6 somehow. So Sierra 6 found out from Sierra 4 that the guy that sent him to kill him, Denny Carmichael, was himself the bad guy. <laughs> so that little wrinkle complicated the CIA. And when Sierra Six says there was no chip, then Carmichael got livid. I knew we shouldn't have used Sierra. I hate Sierra. We should have used one of our own people, you know. So bad luck, just Murphy's Law, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. Probably if you send a CIA agent to kill someone, you need to do more paperwork, right? Because it must be legal. Probably you have to write some reasons. Well, it was just time. They didn't have a CIA agent in that part of the world yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or available for, for mission. So <laughs> they, had, they didn't have an agent available. So they had to use a non-CIA person. And that turned out to be their downfall. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. really, yeah. Leila, what was on the on the chip? So some kind of what? He did uh, um, Sierra Six knew what was the chip? I mean, we learned what um, that was in the chip at the, through the end of the film. Yeah, yeah. because uh, it, was, it was something about Carmichael, right? Some kind yes. of yes. Also, um, what he has done wrong and how he blackmailed people. How he uh, give orders to kill the other people. Um, I mean, but you know, court, court couldn't, um, how can I say, couldn't see what is on the chip because uh, he needed an expert teacher. You're right. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's go to the next one, and it will be number seven, I guess, because we covered six. Sergey, could you please help us with number seven? <clears throat> Who was Lloyd Hansen? Uh, he was a union of Cambridge, uh, he was a friend for all guys from the, uh, this company, Carmichael and the Lee, and uh, he was a psycho, 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 psycho guy, and uh, we met the uh, first time him when he uh, uh, beat, uh, I don't know who mm -hmm. is, who was it, but uh, some guy, and uh, please told me where is money and where is something, and he beat him, and uh, and uh, this uh, scene uh, showed us that uh, he was a psycho. But, uh, he he speak a lot, and uh, he I don't know why, but he had uh, army alpha uh, tycoon alpha tycoon bravo tycoon several and the, I, I don't remember uh, some something of the. Uh, name of this tycoon in the Prague and uh, there, there, there were a lot of people right so he can he he had a lot of resources this uh, guy yeah right? yeah. <clears throat> yeah and it's like, uh, in, in, it's like in John Wick right so everyone knew everyone <laughs> and you just call uh, right guy right mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and Carmichael uh, uh, sends a mission to find the cheap uh, uh, Lloyd Hansen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so why why he hired him, right? Because he was effective, right? So he was absolutely illegal, but effective, right? That's the idea. Yeah, also because like, uh, he didn't, he didn't uh, follow the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, without rules, every, everything is simpler, right? So mm -hmm. you don't have to do all this paperwork. <laughs> 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 Just go away, kill whenever but you want. I thought it was a little unrealistic, though, that the the CIA agent working with him, the, the serious woman, she let this guy do all kind of crazy things, you know, kill police, you know, yeah. uh, do international incident stuff, doing stuff that's just outrageously, uh, mm. you know, shameful and and it would cause all kind of international relation problems and she just she just sat there and said you shouldn't do that oh this is <laughs> oh we're gonna be we're all gonna be fired oh my god i can't live <laughs> and she, but she let him do it anyway you know <laughs> i i didn't understand that yeah i agree it's absolutely unrealistic absolutely <laughs> it, it cannot be so <laughs> <clears throat> okay Let's talk about Prague a little bit. Vasans, could you help us? Number eight. So um, let's start from the beginning. Why Prague? What they, how they moved to the Prague? Prague. I don't remember. Uh, he sent the chip by mail to former colleague, this lady, old lady, and lady was retired and lived in Prague. Oh, yeah. What was her her name? I don't remember. Oh, I, we we don't have it in our list, but it was a CAI lady, a colleague of hey. Ray Fritz Pat Fritz Ray. What was his name? Yeah. So what happened in Prague? What sounds when when mm -hmm. everyone is arrived here? Yeah, mm -hmm. they went there and they had some small fight. They started to shoot at there house and uh, they were crouching, they were crouching and uh, that old lady showed him an under, you know, uh, uh, underground or a basement and kind of a, a room. Uh, he said that you go first and uh, I will come later. But uh, once he got in, he closed that door to save him, and she detonated an explosive once everybody arrived inside the room. 
she killed she, she came out suicide bomber and killed most of the killers and he okay yeah do, do you remember this fight scene between police and uh, our protagonist and mm. all the squads you know <laughs> and battle tram mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, it's unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's totally strange and unrealistic, but I like the view of Prague <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's interesting fact. So Prague is actually it's a beautiful town because it's combined from three parts. So one was J Jewish, another one was German, and another one was Sergey. I forgot what was another one. Third one. It's kind I of yeah it's kind of polish or something so they combine it together in one town and you can walk mm. by one street and can can see three different architecture styles so <laughs> like kind of catholics and then protestants and then jewish and it's interesting so it's a very dense architecture is that in denmark i can't remember it's czech republic czech, czech republic. Oh, czechoslovakia okay i mm -hmm. always forget where it is okay <laughs> Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, Gerard, could you help us? Could you help us? What happened in Berlin? How did Gore defeat the Hansen? And I think it wasn't Berlin. It was Croatia, right? right? What's... Ah, yes, Croatia, yes. <clears throat> this this is uh, a very beautiful house, you know. A castle, right? Castle, yes, but something like a monument. <laughs> 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 How could they could own this 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 building? <laughs> so the spies were the CIA had this very expensive building, which is nonsensical. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, and um, Gentry uh, wanted to six wanted to recover the the goal. Mm -hmm. How did he know that that he was she was there? Uh, ah, the pacemaker, the pacemaker with the pacemaker. The, she, he went to a hospital and accept, got access to the information about the pacemaker because the pacemaker is fitted with a GPS chip. Mm -hmm. Which is not true, let me say. You. <laughs> yes. Always many movies says in that it could pacemaker could be controlled with, you know, with technology, remote technology. And some bad guy put a stop of the uh, hearts. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Which, I is, know. which is not true, else. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know the, the reason. You know there are a lot of problems with this pacemaker. And the main problem is battery. So because nowadays we cannot predict the lifetime of battery very well, so it mm -hmm. can stop at any moment, and. Um, uh, there were many kind of research how we can predict this and everything, but still there are discussion. Can we can we use remote kind of monitoring or not? And the uh, current decision is that we cannot. So we have a lot of problem with uh, kind of unpredicted stop, but still these devices they are not remotely controlled. <laughs> they they are electrical in nature. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a lot of war. Sometimes we have warning signs near cafeterias that say warning uh, microwave ovens in operation. If you wear a pacemaker, beware. Yeah. So it seems like microwave ovens can interfere with the pacemaker possibly. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. My my mother has has a pacemaker, and that's why she cannot go through this airport security. So she goes a special way because this scanning device can prevent working of pacemaker. I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, it's better yeah, not. To know. Yeah, X X rays may not be good for pacemakers. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A magnet magnets either. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, strong. Yeah, MRI, MRI, strong magnetic field. You probably can't can't get an MRI if you got a pacemaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so did court defeat Hansen? How <laughs> did court he defeat Hansen? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think so. He did. <laughs> this fight in the maze. What do you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. The fight, the fight in the maze, but. 
you know the the CIA agent killed Hansen when he was doing this, uh, you know, Mataleon. Matale mm -hmm. He was he was strangling, choking him. He was he was about to kill him all the way. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. All the same, but she killed. She she shot a bullet, a nine millimeter bullet. So I don't know what the purpose of that. If, if I remember, she shot through all the all the hedge walls, right? She couldn't even see the guy. She just, you know, well, come on. I don't believe that for a minute, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this CI lady, Gerard, if I'm right, she used a uh, uh, gun of court. So it was kind of a blackmailing. She did it to have some evidence against okay. him. <clears throat> Yeah, but it was uh, the help was not needed, right? He was winning anyway. Yes, he was. He was allowed to to shock him. Yeah, I know this kid, so this, this technique, so it's very it's very effective. <laughs> it's impossible to survive at this point. Yeah, probably five seconds and you're done, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what about the what about the battle scene? Did you enjoy it? The battle. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's okay. It's a, I think the movie would uh, remind remind me. Uh, you know, John Wick. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Yes. I agree. And the, and, and the plot is, are, are the similar. Mm. Ones. Yeah, similar. Could be a John Wick movie. And Hanson, I think, had a gun, right? And when they met, I was surprised. Hanson took the gun and threw it down and said, "Yeah, but it, it was not a gun. It was a rocket launcher from the boat boat." Oh, was that a a flare gun? Yeah, flare gun. Yeah. Oh, okay. Flare but gun. he, you know, but the bad guy said, "Mono a mono." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But you know, <laughs> the bad guys always have a hidden gun, a hidden weapon. <laughs> <laughs> always. Yeah. yeah, they always gotta pull out a knife at the end. Yeah, they <laughs> gotta Typical. cheat. Typical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but speaking about John Wick, I think that. The battle scenes and fight in general, despite the Prague, uh, <laughs> was pre more realistic than in John Wick, on, 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 in, in my opinion. So it mm. was not like, you know, over, um, over fantastic, I would say. So nobody, you know, <laughs> jumped like a ninja or something. It was... <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember the trans uh, without uh, trans driver. Oh, okay, this this moment was quite quite unrealistic. <laughs> you mean self drive self driving tram in in Prague? Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> but they exist. Do you know? So some uh, some public Not transportation in Prague they are self driven, so they they have no driver. L like mm -hmm. air in the airport. Yeah. yeah. When air when I. When I visited the Prague and I uh, saw the uh, drivers, oh, yes. drivers. Okay. Okay. but it was a few years ago, actually. Everything is fun nowadays. <laughs> in, in, in America, we have automated shuttles that go from the terminal to the gates. Yes, and then, yes. And, and it has yes. no human, it just goes back and forth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, I, I agree. In the airport, we, we have the similar system, but in the city, uh, I don't. I didn't see the trans without drivers because uh, we yeah. have a lot of uh, factors. Yeah, yeah but, but the the thing is, Sergey, that computers are better about many factors than humans. So when it's you know when it's about keeping attention on many small things, computers are better. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I I read some. I, I read one. I, article uh yesterday maybe it's it was joke i don't know in mm -hmm. america uh, the drones started to kill something and uh, uh, the operator uh, stopped them <laughs> and uh, the drones what happened and the drones <laughs> returned and started to <laughs> kill the operator <laughs> his pilot yes it's pilot <laughs> And, and then the Air Force, Air Force came out later and said, "No, no, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> that 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 officer misspoke. Oh, yeah. bull crap! What a lie, you know." <laughs> well, if yeah. you if you ask me, I can see the difference between you know uh, having a driveless tank or battle aircraft and driveless taxi car. So I'm <laughs> I'm open to to taxi cars and tram, but I'm not open to you know to battle robots. So I don't <laughs> like them. <laughs> Autonomous battle robots with uh, kind of Skynet. I don't like it. 
Yeah, and especially like... don't give control about the uh, nuclear weapons to AIs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Layla, what we're talking yeah. about, do you know about the Air Force uh, exercise, Layla, in the U.S.? Yeah, yeah, my, yes, okay. my dear teacher, I okay, know. You, you know about it, okay, okay. <clears throat> I'm just trying to understand uh, what is mm -hmm. the um, reason for using the drones? Well, no mm -hmm. human, no, no, no human. So you don't, there's no human in danger. A human can't get killed if a drone goes in and, and sh kills the enemy. Yeah. So in the drone, there is a kind of camera, what? weapon, everything. Brain, right? brain. The, the drone has AI. It controls itself. Okay, like you, robot. You, right, right. Yeah, you say drone, go kill the enemy. And the yeah. drone goes away and it starts killing the enemy. And then you say, drone, don't kill that enemy, okay? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Uh, you told me to kill the enemy. <laughs> and now you're telling me don't kill the enemy. You must be an enemy. And it went back can and everybody, <laughs> Can everybody have a drone? Yes, you can. They're legal in the U.S. I'm surprised we haven't had more drone terrorism. I'm really surprised. Yeah, but well, it's totally legal in Turkey. In Turkey, I had a drone, and it, it was very few territory in Turkey when you cannot use them. It's uh, around. Uh, I, you know why I, I have asked? Because only the army or ordinary people can use it. That's the reason why I have asked. You can use it. There are some restrictions. You can't use uh, military drones, of course, with uh, guns, but uh, civil drones, almost no restrictions. Yeah, there's small drones that have like a camera that you can fly around and look down and take pictures of people's neighborhoods. Yeah, we, yeah. those are legal in the U.S. We have those. They're noisy sometimes. I've seen okay. a few flying around. Sometimes okay. they're huge, teachers. Sometimes, you know, we, we, we travel it in Turkey and many, many people, they, <laughs> they like to have many photos of old Roman monuments and yeah. drones are ideal, you know, so because but you can... Is, wow. is it good, Ivan? It spoils the privacy. Yeah, um, yeah. Some some people use it to spy on people's, you yeah. know, women in their swimming pools in the backyard. Yes. <laughs> well, Peeping <laughs> thumbs. <laughs> Peeping thumbs. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's yeah. it's a very complicated question. Let's say we say let's prohibit, let's restrict all the drone usage. So what will happen? It just will be one step back in the you know in the civilization so sometimes you know you we have to make some sacrifices i think oh my god <laughs> please uh, actually a uh, few years ago i read that uh, amazon had a uh, an initiative to deliver their products by using drones but they couldn't do it because the uh, u.s government has a strict regulation after the 9-11 incident they do not have, uh, they don't, do not allow such air traffic. You know, it might confuse the air traffic. So that's why they couldn't uh, start that initiative. Is that true? Is it still the same? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, there are, we do have air traffic rules for airplanes. You have to fly yes. at certain heights, certain altitudes. It may yeah. be that Amazon wanted to fly them real high. So the FAA said, no, airplanes fly up there. So that may have been what the problem was. We do have some no-fly zones. You can't fly a drone over an airport, you know, for safety reasons, over mm -hmm. uh, a U.S. government facility, perhaps. Uh, but, but, but we have tried to use drones for, like, deliveries. And uh, California tried to use drones that went along the sidewalk to deliver packages mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and food orders to people's homes. And what happened was the sidewalks got so full of drones, people couldn't walk on the sidewalks <laughs> and everyone got angry and those drones kind of disappeared. <laughs> yeah. Well, sounds probably you have seen in the chat, I shared a picture of uh, this self-driving robots in Moscow. They deliver food and people make fun of them. They sit on them like on a horse, you know, and... <laughs> <laughs> they hunt them to get the food from them and you know people are yeah. still barbarians you know <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> we're not ready for that yet <laughs> okay when, how, when, did, yeah i was gonna say when when ai starts causing huge numbers of people to lose their jobs 
I would say you can expect sabotage against yeah. AI controlled systems because people are going to get angry. Yeah. It's already started, I think, you know, because in, in Europe, European Union, somewhere, they put a lot of restrictions for AI technology already because they are scared, you know, so let's yeah. don't go to this. Yeah. Lasans, please. Yeah, I have seen so many videos, you know, CCTV camera footages that people stealing packages in front of uh, an, an unmanned home, you know. Yeah. I, I was surprised that they get down from a car and they steal a package, you know. You are wealthy enough to have a car, but still you are, uh, you know, envy, you know, you, are, uh, you want to have other people's uh, uh, things, you know, belongings. <laughs> That's so funny. It's a problem in the U.S. You know, Amazon will deliver a package to someone's front door, their home, and people will come along and see it, and they'll run over, grab the package, put it in their car, and drive away with it. And the camera, you know, records all this. Uh, it happens all the time. So you, yeah, there's no, there's no respect anymore. Crime is just out of control in this country. Yeah, let, let's hope that robots will create a better world for us, right? Yeah, <laughs> with, <laughs> with discipline, you know, with order. <laughs> okay, Robo how, how did the movie end? What happened to Court, Claire, and Fitzroy? Sergey, could you please answer this? Yeah, uh, to, to be honest, I uh, didn't understand the end. Uh, in my opinion, uh, uh, the guys from the court avoided uh, the, uh, the problem with the law. And uh, uh, the main character uh, escaped uh, nice, and it's. I think that we have to uh, wait the second part of. It. Yeah, sequel, right? So it's <laughs> yeah. meant for the sequel, exactly. So, but Fitzroy is dead. It's dead, right? And he was a kind of a Russian hero, right? He said. I don't need a gun, give me a grenade. Grenade. <laughs> so yeah, uh, <laughs> remember the Fitzroy nails. Oi. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember this. But you know, this is a typical, so sometimes we joke about this, that the Russian hero cannot be alive. And Fitzroy is a typical Russian hero. You know, it's a typical from Russian literature. You know, don't <laughs> give me a gun, give me a grenade. So I'm a hero now. <laughs> I stay yeah. here, without me. Yeah, 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 leave me alone. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> okay, so court was under arrest, right? Claire was under a secret, yeah. secret place. Yeah, under surveillance. How to say this? Not under arrest, but um, it was mandatory to be there, right? For Claire, for niece of Fitzroy. And Court went there and killed everyone, as always, while he was listening to music. And what he said? Can I chew, chew gum in this house? Something like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Kind yeah, the, happy end. <laughs> yeah, Fitzroy was very confident. Is he going to come rescue us, Dad? <laughs> he's gonna come through those doors <laughs> <laughs> if he's alive he if will he's alive yeah <laughs> okay so what's on this is a targets for bullets right <laughs> bullet holes yeah yeah, bullet holes. Holes. yeah nice okay let's describe a few pictures Mova, could you please start with this one uh, yes uh this is um young uh, these are young Fitzroy and Sierra Six. Mm -hmm, there. And mm -hmm. uh, Sierra Six now is in prison, mm -hmm. but Fitz, Fitzroy, uh, he will make him recruit him, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about this gum, banana gum? What kind of role he plays? It was a joke, right? <clears throat> he, he was pretending that he will buy him for this banana gum or something. <laughs> watermelon. Watermelon. Okay, watermelon. Okay. Even for watermelon gum, he said, right? I did not. I would not work for you. 
<laughs> but Fitzroy, he was very confident, right? He was sure that this guy will buy his offer, right? So he was so confident, right? You know, you will be free on 20, 35 in the best case, but I will give you a better offer. So you can work for us, you know, and you will be busy with an interesting work. What was... Walk, uh, yeah. Yeah. Walk out with me now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ivan, what would your answer be? Well, first of all, I would not like to be in such a situation, you know, but the of answer course. is... <laughs> but think that. Yeah, but the answer is obvious, right? So better to have an adventure, right, than to rot, right, is a good word, rot in the jail. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Well, and they you... offered to train him, right? Free training. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, what about the retirement plan for Sierra 6? What was his retirement plan? So uh, he was <clears throat> supposed to work for some time and then what? Or it was another plan? <laughs> there was no retirement plan. So he said it. So he's, he asked, for how long I will work for you? And what they said? Uh, until you are useful or something like this, so indefinitely. <laughs> not a good, not a good thing for work contract, I would say. Vasans, <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, could you describe this one? Uh, uh, it was a New Year party, I think, and he was trying to kill that uh, ex. Uh, Agent, an FBI agent. Mm -hmm. um, he got escaped. Uh, he couldn't sue him because there was a child nearby him, so there could be a collateral damage. So he wanted to avoid that, and he said no. Uh, the gun got jammed, um, and he was he was expecting. He had another plan, uh, so, so that he <clears throat> killed all the henchmen first. Uh, finally, he wanna try to shoot him, but he escaped. Right, he just jumped off the building mm -hmm. and jumped into the you know, firecracker. There was a place to keep the firecrackers. So, uh, he jumped into that. Then they had a fight. Finally, killed again. Yeah, speaking about this picture, what are these balls on the floor? Do you understand? Air balloons, I think, uh, just a color balloon to mm -hmm. just to decorate uh, the room. But it looks like a New Year celebration, right? It's yeah. Um, I, I can't remember what it was. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one. Mm. Gerard, could you please describe the situation and the picture? Okay. We see Sierra Six in a you know a video game, mm -hmm. um, arcade, 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 arcade. Yeah, yeah. So people play with computers, <clears throat> and I don't know what is I was. I know what he was looking for at this time. I don't remember. Chip. Yeah, he yeah. got this chip. Oh, okay. I, I, I think he bought a guy a cell phone, didn't he? He wanted someone's cell phone, so he gave him some money and said, I'll buy your cell phone or something. Yep. Mm. Yep. Just trying to be anonymous. He needed devices that couldn't be traced to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm I remember the first thing he did when he came to this uh, chair. First thing he did, he unplugged the uh, internet wire so and only wow. after that <laughs> he plugged <laughs> the chip <laughs> mm. okay i missed that all right <clears throat> okay Gerard, maybe you will like this one better okay okay he was the plan six had to escape mm -hmm. this plan there were many people inside uh, soldiers, mercenaries. Okay, and I don't know what to what to say. More to say. Eventually, they wanted to kill him, and the plane, you know, was destroyed. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a kind of unexpected, right? So he just, uh, they just got an order to save him, right? And a few minutes later, they say, it, well, now kill him. So it was... <laughs> it's best funny. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> help him. Okay. Oh, uh, we've changed our mind. Kill him. Okay. <laughs> but but ha, 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 what, what's the name of the guy, you know, Piri Bob Thornton, the, his recruiter? What What's the name of his recruiter? Six recruiter. Six. Uh, Fitz, Fitzroy. 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 Mm -hmm. So I guess Fitzroy told him something, maybe a special war, because he was prepared, you know? Yeah. He was ready for the fight, but I guess Fitzroy didn't betray him, but gave him a uh, clue, so he was mm -hmm. prepared. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they forced Fitzroy to tell him to surrender or something. Mm -hmm. And and he knew they had his daughter, I think. So he knew that Fitzroy was being yeah. forced to say it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know how this car is called, George? Mm, yeah, I don't remember now. It's a three wheel car. <laughs> yeah, it's TikTok. Oh. Yeah, TikTok. Like yes. It took two. Uh, I forgot. Uh, took two probably. Yeah. In Asia, <laughs> in Asia, uh, they are very popular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Asia, yeah. <laughs> okay, and this is an old American bomber, I guess, right? A huge one, I can see. Looks like an old bomber, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Leila, do you remember this one? Because I don't. I don't either. So, but it looks like a parachute, right? What is the name for this? Oh, okay. Parachute. He got he got stuck on the side of the mountain. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But who? Ah, there is a dead pilot or something. <clears throat> right. Do you remember this? Our guy Sierra Six. He jumped from the uh, aircraft without a parachute. <laughs> uh oh, and he tried to catch the sky's parachute. Right. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Leila, would you recommend to do so? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, but the, the beautiful landscape, I would say. Okay, well, what about this one? What is happening here? Oops. Um, just give me some clues. Okay, so it's a kind of a flashback from the past. How Sierra Six got known by niece of um, Fritz. Ah, oh, Claire, Claire, right. Claire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So Claire was um, in the house, in her room, and it was the first time they met? Yeah. yeah. Okay. She's really clever, asking her, <laughs> you know, just so cute questions. And yeah. uh, you can't chew, we're chewing gum here. I like that. And... Uh, there are a lot of symbols, yes. Usually, why you said African? Because on on the right, they look African to me. They look like African figures. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wooden I can't be stuff. sure. You'll yeah, see yeah. this. You'll see there's a peace symbol. Yeah. The circle. Yeah, yeah. That the hippies, the hippies use that to mean peace. Mm -hmm. so on the left. Yeah. Go ahead. Somehow we call it anarchy symbol, not not peace symbol. I don't uh, know. Uh, really? Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be a Christian cross, uh -huh. and then it's kind of broken. <laughs> so some people interpret it as a a a, a, a Satan symbol because wow. it's, a, it's a cross with the the arms broken down. Mm -hmm. You know, but in the, my country, um, a lot of people. I was a. Uh, bit you know just um childish and uh i saw ladies using these t-shirts with this peace symbol on it i never thought that you know it is for satan or uh, it, it's not normally that's this is a different symbol exactly so i was mistaken i was yeah. mistaken. yeah yeah that that symbol that she's got that's called the peace symbol mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. The, the hippies used it. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I just learned something. Yeah. I, all my life, I saw it is the same. <laughs> uh, you know, right. yeah. Ivan, teacher, I was green with Emmy, 
<laughs> because a lot of girls, boys are wearing, were wearing peace symbol necklaces. And I drew a very big peace symbol on my window. And mm. daddy was make me clean it. <laughs> Because it's a hippie symbol, clean it. Well, yeah, it's a hippie symbol, but it means peace. It has a good meaning. Do, do you remember yeah. the movie Full Metal Jacket? Yeah. There was the helmet with the symbol and the, the sentence "Born to Kill." <laughs> <laughs> a paradox. A little irony, yeah. Can Can you find a giraffe in this picture? Yeah, the, on the left side. Yeah, the, on the left. The little what giraffe there. there. Near the giraffe. Layla, Layla, yeah. I... May, may I tell you what I learned about giraffes uh, on last week? You know, giraffes actually they cannot speak. What I learned, they cannot make any sound. So we went to zoo, and Vova teach me, <laughs> taught me that they they cannot speak. Actually, they don't produce any sounds. So what? Huh. What it was? It was a, a surprise for me at all. Maybe because their they... neck is so long. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Now, the thing is that they split, split. your face. <laughs> Do you understand me? No. They're, they're what? I mean, using their tongue and they just, um, isn't it split? Spilled? Split? They spill? You mean? Um, <laughs> we have a... We have a no. device in our throat is called it, a larynx. Is it me? I remember spit. Spit. They spit. It's camels, right? It's no, giraffes. <laughs> camels and llamas. Yeah. So, you know, Leila, why I'm so surprised? I saw that because they have so massive neck, they will yeah. be like, you know, like a horn of the hair, like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but actually they cannot produce any sound so it's wow it, it may be because their lungs are so far away from their larynx mm -hmm. that by the time the sound gets there it, it does have enough strength to, I, I don't know i i didn't know <laughs> that were... can you imagine ivan said something and the giraffe didn't say anything before he <laughs> left the giraffe answered <laughs> 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 Okay, so no chewing gum allowed allow in this house, right? And I like it the way how they communicate, right? This guy was silent, and she pretended to have a small talk with him, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was a <laughs> cute moment. I, I like it. Girl was trying to get to know him. Yeah, yeah. She uh, kind, kind of told him how to, told him some manners, right? How yeah. to be, how to make a small talk. Yeah. Okay, I think we have time for one or two more. Vova, what is happening here? Uh, the hacker, mm -hmm. uh, he made a trap. Good. Trap. Uh, and he... He called him. He called, yes, he called... CR6. Uh, CR6, yes. Yeah, why? For what? Uh, for money. How much money? One million. No. Uh, one shot. Yeah, they said seven digits fee, uh, seven digits number. But it was actually one shot. <laughs> actually one shot. Yeah, Leila, what is seven digits number? Seven digits number. The digits, sorry, digits, yeah, seven digits number. I mean, there are seven um, numbers, right? Right. Okay, so? <laughs> so, so is it millions thousands millions no, yeah. millions right but yeah. um i was going to ask you something or to everybody how he managed six to get out of there i didn't understand anything <laughs> because he used a lot of equipment tools how he managed he he had no strange he had a trap door. A yeah, trap yeah. door. Okay. He gets in there, teacher Lee, but then he managed to get out of it. Oh, he broke a water pipe. <laughs> I don't know why a water pipe is in there, but he broke a water pipe. 
and the 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 well filled up with water and he floated to the top yeah. okay but it's not <laughs> logical you know it's a little hokey yeah but you could do it i guess theoretically <laughs> Okay, Tisteri, I will try. There's one <laughs> in the garden. I will let you know. <laughs> Sergey, please. Imagine uh, that the main character met uh, the water pipe with the hot water. <laughs> hot water, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, in this scene, you know, I was even suspicious of this man because he kept, he kept talking, 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 talking. I knew that he was going to do something sneaky. I can't <laughs> believe Sierra Six got tricked. Judy, can I say prolonging the duration? Yeah, the guy. Yeah, the guy was definitely stalling and trying to distract him. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, but Sergey, it's a it's a good kind of uh, idea, right? So, so you 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 break this pipe but if it's pipe let's say uh, with hot water so you are now a soup right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah okay Drag, why she's uh, with gun and pointing on him uh, because uh, she doesn't trust him yet mm -hmm. and wants him to go in the truck <laughs> <laughs> right and she, eventually eventually she shoots him a dart tranqu tranquilizer that dart yeah but she, she was a professional didn't she mm -hmm. i like oh. her a lot yes <laughs> you know these two actors were together in another movie you know the second part of blade runner teacher lee really well, is, is that right i didn't know yes that. yes i haven't watched it yes mm. Okay, I think it's all for today. So, but I, uh, thank you. I enjoyed this movie. It was a little bit long for my taste, but it's uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's even for, personally for me more interesting than John Wick because it had kind of some really? better story, I would say. You know, without all these kingdoms of <laughs> yeah, 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 more believable, more believable. <laughs> But the best thing on John Wick is Keanu Reeves. He's a very likable guy. Yeah. He's very likable. Actually, I, I, scenes, yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan of this guy. What is his name? Rain Gosling? Ke Ke uh, Gosling, yes. Gosling, Ryan yeah. Gosling. Yeah. Ryan Gosling. So I, I did not know him well, but he was he was okay in this movie. Leila, what do you think? I like the film. I like the actor. This is the first time I have watched this film. Yeah. He was but the I green, like it. Wasn't he the Green Lantern? Green London? No, it was another one. Another Different one. guy? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you for coming. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Teacher Lee, bye -bye. thank you. Bye-bye, my friends. Bye -bye. Yeah, and we have a good chat again. Nice. Bye, bye, bye everyone. Bye.